underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. That's a great tackle at the 24-yard line. Did you see how that big defensive line got such a good push on that play? That's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss. From their own 24-yard line, second down. And they hit him in the backfield. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. Third and about 15 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 20-yard line. Back to pass. He airs it out. This one's intercepted. It's the sophomore safety. He's taken down at about the 29-yard line. Nice pick by the safety. Safety that time just sitting back there looking at the quarterback, and once it was thrown, he knew exactly where it was going, and he made the pick. From their own 29-yard line, it's first down. And they make the stop around the 23-yard line. Second down and 16. Ball on the 23-yard line. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's tackled around the 32-yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. We played one. No score here. A minute left in the half. This place is starting to get fired up. Made the catch, but he's knocked out before he gets back to the line of scrimmage. And this one is a beauty. Calls for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 20-yard line. Offense comes back out, looking to improve from their last effort. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Looks to pass. Tackle at the 25. This is smart, efficient play call. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. There was some movement on the line. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. From their own 20-yard line, second down. They'll bring him down at the 19-yard line. Bowling Green's going to use their first time out of the half here. That makes it third and 11. From their own 19-yard line, third down. And he's taken down around the 21-yard line. The Falcons call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Fourth down. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. 
46 yards. Signals for a fair catch. Fair catch made at the 32 yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Drops back to pass. He's going to go for the home run. It's picked off. And he tackles him hard at the six. He didn't throw it away under pressure, and it really cost him. It sure did. He saw that he was going to get hit and just threw one up for grabs. He's got to learn to take the sack. From their own six-yard line, first down. He makes it to the six-yard line. So we've played two quarters. Still no score. Who's going to score first? I think that's the question right now. We're set to start the third quarter. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Let's toss it down to Aaron Andrews for an update from the sidelines. Both teams have been bottled up so far, but each head coach told me that they feel the team that scores first will gain a ton of momentum and that the key will be how the other one responds. Neither offense seemed to be able to get on track in the first half. Brad? A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Hands it off. Makes it to the 34. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Makes the grab, and he's got the first. Brought down at the 40-yard line. Good for a gain of six yards. First down. He's looking to pass. He throws it. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. That's just how they drew it up. When I talked to this coach earlier in the week, he thought he could take advantage of zone coverage by attacking the perimeter outside the hashes. That time, it was a corner route, and it got him the first down. Steps out of bounds around the 33-yard line. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense, and in this case, he did. Nice job. Nice play across the middle. Big play, and it's first and goal. Number eight makes the tackle at the nine-yard line. That makes it first and goal. He drops back. Dumps it complete over the middle. And down he goes at the two-yard line. Pretty nice pickup here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. Second down and goal. Ball on the two. So with one quarter remaining, now this one's scoreless. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Number 83, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it third and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. It's absolutely deafening down there. 
tackle made at the three-yard line. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. The kicker lining up for the field goal. This to give them the lead here late in the fourth quarter. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. And that gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. Bowling Green, ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. Do you take a shot at the end zone? There's not a lot of time left, but maybe they can catch the defense being overly conservative. Under a minute left in the game. They bring the quarterback down. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack at second and long. Back to pass. He lets it go. Third down and a mile. And this is going to be hard to convert here. Quick strike to the receiver. The ball just kept scooting all over the place on the sideline, and it finally skipped out of bounds before anybody could claim it. So they're going to go for it here. He drops back, fires it quickly. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Unbelievable pass. They don't care what down it is. First and 10, ball on the 44. Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 38. Drops back to pass. He's tackled around the 34-yard line. Let's see how the defense handles the no huddle. He's taken down around the 22-yard line. They're changing the play. And he stops the clock with a spike. That makes it second and ten. This is the ninth play of this drive. As expected, they'll call a timeout here and try to add a little pressure. This game now lies squarely on the shoulders of this kicker. If he misses, then this game is all but over. A make, and we're looking at overtime. And this game seems to get better and better with every play. These guys are really leaving it all out on the field tonight. Arkansas kicked this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They'll take over at the 25-yard line. And I think they're going to take one last shot at the end zone here. Looking to throw. That's the end of the fourth quarter, and we are headed to overtime. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Throws this one out to the right. Number two was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 25. Halfbacks 
got it on the quick throw. Number eight brings him down at the 25 yard line. That brings up third and ten. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Back to pass. And he hits him hard at the 14 yard line. Number eight on the tackle for the 14 yard line. That makes it first and ten. First down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 14 yard line. That's a great tackle at the six yard line. Number 15 on the tackle at the six yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He is drilled at the eight-yard line. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. And I'll tell you what, not only was this great penetration, but it was a heck of a hit, too. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Looks to pass. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. It's up, and the field goal is good. The kicker does his job, but now it's up to the defense. They're going to have to stand up and make a big stop. This is very nerve-wracking for both teams because now anything can happen on this second series of overtime. From the 25-yard line, first down. Drops to throw on first down. This one's going deep to the end zone. Well, both teams have been fighting hard the entire game, and it just gets tougher in overtime. These guys deserve a world of credit for pulling this one out because it's been a real battle. Old time football today. Low scoring defensive battle and it's final. Bowling Green, nine, Arkansas, six.